So I wanted to show you guys how to solve this kind of questions for your pre-calculus class. We have if f of 3x over 2x plus 1 equals 4 over 5x minus 6. Then we would like to know what f of x is equal to. The key to do this is that notice we have this input for the function and without this. And right now we are trying to end up with just an x inside. So we will have to utilize the idea of the inverse function of this thing here. And let me show you. First, I'm going to just put this to be a new variable. And let me use t for it, because usually y is equal to f of x, but I don't know what f of x is yet. So I will put on t. If you want to use any other letter, that's fine too. And our goal is to solve for x right here in terms of t. And then after that, we can plug into all the x's here. Inside here, we'll just end up with x. And then after that, we'll just end up with the, the answer that we want. All right, so I'm going to multiply the denominator to both sides first. So 3x equals t times 2x plus 1. Distribute, so we have 3x equals, this is going to be 2tx and then plus t. Then I'm going to move this turn to the other side so that all the x's will be together. And that will be a minus. And then we have 2tx, and that's equal to t. Here we have x, here we also have x, so we can factor that out right here. And then we will just get 3 minus 2t, and that's equal to t. Then just divide this to both sides, we can get x is equal to t over 3 minus 2t. So now, here's the idea. Once we have found this expression, and that's actually just the inverse, I'm going to show you guys. If you plug in this into all the x's here, you'll just end up with t. I know we're trying to get x, but x is just like an input. As long as you can isolate this thing into just a variable, at the end, just change the variable back. That will be the strategy. So let me show you. f of 3, if you put the x as that, which is t over 3 minus 2t, and then over 2 times the x is this again, and then plus 1. Okay, we will have to fix this complex fraction, not so bad though. We have this denominator and that, same thing. So we just have to multiply the top and bottom by this denominator which is 3 minus 2t. So again, this is just going to be the inside, and let's see what we are going to get. We will have f of this times this. Well, they just cancel. So on the top, we have 3t over this times this. Again, they cancel. So here we have 2t. And this times 1 is just that itself, so it's plus 3 minus 2t. And have a look. On the top is 3t. On the bottom, we have t minus 2t, so this and that cancel. And then 3t over 3, they cancel, so we just get f of t. So, as you can see, once we plug in the blue part into the axis, we'll just end up with f of a single variable. Then, we're just going to plug in this into this x, then we'll be done. Have a look. Here we have 4 over 5, and the x is that, and then minus 6. And again, we have complex fraction. Let's just go ahead and multiply this denominator, bottom here, and also the top here. And then we will get this times this is 12, and then this times that is minus 80. And then this times that will cancel, so we will have 5t. And then we will take negative 6 times this, which is negative 18. And then negative 6 times negative 2t is plus 12t. And uh, here we can combine this and that together. So we will get 12 minus 8t over, that is just 17t. And depends on how you like it, I have 
the t at the end here, so I will put on a t at the end as well. So I'm just going to have negative 18 going first, and then 17 t afterward, and that's positive 17 t. So as you can see, f of t is equal to this expression. And now if you want f of x, you can just say f of x is equal to yeah, it kind of depends on how you want to write it, but I will write it as 12 minus 8x over negative 18 plus 17x. I know the top you can factor out were 4 or so, but nothing can be reduced, so I think this is a perfectly okay answer. I just box it like this.